What's really going on with Britney Spears' Instagram? Doesn't seem like it's just the gram. Well, interestingly enough, I can tell you. Let's talk a little bit more about steganography, and this time let's do a deep dive. So why am I bringing all this up? Did you guys know that secret messages can hide in AI-generated media? It can utilize AI-generated media, like what we've seen on Britney Spears' Instagram from the glitches. New encryption method uses AI-generated content to hide info in plain sight, or they're talking about it now in 2023 using AI generate content to hide sensitive information in a way that hides that anything's even being seen. This program right here identifies whether there is possible stenography in an image or video and it will identify the location. It doesn't extract the file though. So I put a couple of Britney Spears videos in, photos that I saw remnants of a positive result. I tested it out with my own pictures, no results. All programs can give false negatives, but they generally never give false positives. Where we're about to go is gonna get pretty fucking dark. So fair warning. It's likely that Britney Spears' Instagram account is involved in some of these activities. It's very likely that the reason the videos are so blurry and bad quality is an intentional effect. To hide something a little bit more illicit, it goes back to something that the supposed account of her brother, Brian Spears, put a story about on Instagram. I'm gonna go through in this deep dive the exact reasons why steganography is being used in her Instagram. What exactly is steganography? The visual evidence that is on her Instagram, as well as the history of its usage with her account. Starting with a Russian hacking attack in 2017. There may not be a happy ending for this story, but there will be answers. Steganography hides the message by placing it in plain sight, often in a way that simply escapes the notice of the casual onlooker. When people are using steganography, what they're also trying to do is hide the fact that they're sending a message. So they not only want to hide the contents of the message, they want to hide the fact that the message is being sent at all. Steganography means to hide a text, video, or even an audio file within an ordinary, non-secret file or message. More recently, steganography can be found in letters, emails, and even digital images. Because steganography used common items to hide codes, it was an ideal way for spies to communicate without arousing suspicion. Look at this image. Closer. Do you see it? Inside this image, I've hidden a virus. Malware. You probably can't tell, can you? And neither can your computer or most malware detection software. This is steganography, a technique used to embed or hide secret messages and secret files inside stuff like this. Something that isn't secret. Something that's kind of just innocent looking. Like who would have thought this had malware inside? Get out of here, malware. So while you could send secret messages hidden inside a picture of your dog to your family and friends, like I'm going to show you how to do in this video, it's really, really fun. My daughters love it. Or you could be a hacker, an espionage focused threat actor targeting Middle Eastern governments by hiding malware inside the Windows logo. That sounds oddly specific. Well, it just happened. However, just as our decryption devices have evolved, so has steganography. Steganography today can be sent in images, videos, or any other digital files. Modern steganography contains messages that can be hidden under pixels or text, and is virtually undetectable except to those who are looking for it. Okay, so I've got a way to hide it. Now, can I hide it in such a way that it's hard to tell I've hidden it, not just to people looking at a picture or listening to music or watching a, a TV show, but for people using sophisticated tools, the image you see on screen right now was used by Osama bin Laden to communicate secret messages to Al-Qaeda, all without any outside suspicions. It uses steganography to encode information in sub-pixel values so that they cannot be decoded. It's impossible to tell anything was different with the naked eye or even by looking at individual pixel values. Why? They're not easy to decode. We've had steganography for a while. You've been able to hide data inside of pictures and it hasn't been a big deal. There's a ton of tools out there like S-Tools that'll do it. What's different here is that they don't need special tools for it, that they can post a PNG image file on Twitter. Somebody else can download it and all they have to do is rename the extension. And it's not only a fully functional PNG, but it's also a fully functional zip archive or an MP3 or they, they, they've done a few different ones. Now, one, that can easily be used by people to hide data, right? It just looks like a PNG. I can download it. It looks like a PNG. No big deal, right? But attackers can actually use this to transmit malware as well. Today's threat to our national security is not a matter of military weapons alone. We know of other methods, new methods of attack, spies, saboteurs, and traitors 
With all of these, we must... So real talk, what did we find? More oddities than Britney Spears' Instagram. Now, it's not even just the videos and footage of her that seem to be manipulated, it's even the stock footage. Because why does a celebrity who has a social media company who credits every single photo have blurrier photos of well-known and easily, you know, easily sourced images? It seems, again, intentional. You ever wonder why Brain Spears' videos are always so blurry and, like, shit quality? It's not even just pictures and videos of her that are blurry, but even the posts that she puts from other artists are blurrier than their actual original counterparts. One of the key things about steganography is that you're going to be replacing pixels and other information with the information that you want to hide. So when I compare these two photos and I create, make them both the same size, wouldn't you be surprised to find out that one of them seems to have added more to the image? They should have the same proportions if they're resized the same, yet they don't overlap perfectly. It seems that AI might have been used to expand some of these images to create room to hide some of the to hide some of the hidden media it's the one with the embedded information the second picture has the first chapter of the hunting of the snark embedded in it i would say that the second one looks a little bit blurrier but where you can really see it is do you see his wall right here it's pretty much just white you see the wall right here has a lot more what looks like compression bits that's the information right there very similar to what we see on britney spears's instagram a couple of britney spears videos and photos that i saw remnants of it positive result he said hider man app was used what's hider man app program that you can use to hide files i was actually able to use it and do a pretty good job this photo has another photo inside of it i know because i hit it with hider man and then i was able to extract it with hider man this is how much i hit and then this is when i extracted it looks pretty damn good so the next video i'm going to show you visually how we can see that the images have been expanded using diff checker and Photoshop that you'll see even if the pictures were resized and cropped they should still have the same proportions the fact that they don't is highly suspicious